so guys as you know andre steven always sharing his opinion loud and clear as he mentioned about andre wholeness should you know declare his assets the things that he owned and let the jamaicans know the things that belong to him and he also mentioned about his one room as he talked about carlos and saying that listen he's gonna achieve all that he wants in that one room and also guys as he share a little about his health and how you know he, he, things up and down so guys i want you to just leave your comments down below and yeah let me know what you think hey guys welcome to nikita jamaica where you get the best and the latest comedy and drama and entertainment if you have not yet subscribed please do so thank you but tonight you know i never realized how the gentleman yesterday cursed me out I never realized it how deep and low he went talking about how much money I make on YouTube talking about my one bedroom that I'm living in and I said to myself wow all this time they all tried To conf uh, for me to confide in them to know all the little struggles that I went through and to come back on social media to use them to cuss me my one bedroom I am satisfied in my one bedroom I have made great things happen out of this one bedroom this one bedroom has sent over 160 odd students back to school. This one bedroom has helped many people get justice. This one bedroom has made so many, so many people, 10,000 plus people, 40,000 people be inspired, 50, 60, 70, 80,000 people inspired nightly to get new and refreshing and to have the insight of the news this one bedroom this one bedroom i have sat and i have cried this one bedroom what have you accomplished in your taxi or your car how many people have gotten justice from your car that you do your Uber from? How many? How many people have been impacted by your program in your Uber car? A lot of people started off in a one bedroom house and are great now. A lot of people started off in a zinc house with pit latrine and are great now. A lot of people started from nothing to something. And when my mother ran me out of the house and I was sleeping in Uwe Library, Dr. Sandra Nesbitt paid for my first one bedroom until I could do it on my own. So when you're going to tell me about my one bedroom, it was Dr. Sandra Nesbitt who took me up from out of UA Library when I was serving Andrew Holness and Juliet Holness with all my heart and all my pride and all my dignity. Dr. Sandra Nesbitt did that. Dr. Sandra Nesbitt did that me out of you a library and i started to live down elliston flats until i could get on my own till i reached here at five ravinia almost five years ago and i started to pay my rent by hustling selling socks and ties 
and moving from socks and ties to catering, from catering to fashion, from fashion to catering, restaurant, tie seal, that seal, hustle sheet and curtain. Do you know my struggle? Do you know my pain? Do you know my one bedroom experience? Do you know my one bedroom experience and what my one bedroom has carried me through? This one bedroom, I sat and I saved my YouTube money and my YouTube money was defrauded and blackmailed to give people who don't do anything apart from smoke and develop stories to kill people. And you're going to tell me about my one bedroom. I'm a builder. I am a builder. I built people. And everybody knows that when I sit down right here for hours, I don't party, I don't smoke, I don't drink. The only thing I do is spend money to get fabrics to make new creations. And I want to ask you one question. I don't need to stitch. I don't need to stitch to be a designer. Are you aware of that? Go look at Versace. Go look at Louis Vuitton. Go look at Gucci. Go look at all of the top brands. Balenciaga, all of those. Are the designers stitchers? Did they start by stitching? Many of them stories started by simply designing. And this one bedroom I will live in and make myself greater. This one bedroom I will live in. This one bedroom I'm going to live in and greatness is going to come from it. 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 My catering business I gonna come, come out of it. Great, 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 great. See, I'm I have one song for them tonight, you know. Cause worship me, I worship. Going forward, no more retreat. I'm making it categorically, emphatically clear tonight unequivocally clear tonight that where I stand I stand on the blood of Yeshua I stand on the blood of Christ on Christ the solid rock I stand all other ground is sinking sand and because I know my God lives and my god reigns supreme over every other altar and every other god i andre stefano stevens son of andrew theodore stevens and son of althea and macleod christie says tonight i have washed myself of them I have washed myself of them. I have closed that chapter. Close that chapter because I am anointed and I have placed the enemy who has taken the form of a puss, who has taken the form of a snake, who has taken the form of a black bullfrog, who has taken the form of a wolf who has taken the form of an octopus I Andre Stefano Stevens says I am anointed to put the enemy 
under my feet. And I have put and placed them under my feet. No more retreat. No more surrender. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. It is my season to celebrate my one bedroom that will bring forth blessings upon blessings upon blessings for me. Andrew Holness, you come here. You come here, Andrew Holness, because you are going like say because you call the self-appointed bro God. Who in this country approve of that name, bro God? Of the 2.7 thousand people watching me tonight, who approve of calling your prime minister, bro God? Who approve of calling your prime minister, bro God? Remember, I must take my medication tonight at 9 o'clock. I'm taking my medication at 9 o'clock tonight. Who approve of calling your prime minister Mo bro God? Who approve of calling your prime minister bro God? Talk to me now, man. Only talk to me now. Show up the live now, man. Share the life no man. I'm gonna share the life no cause me gonna talk some liberty now. No. <laughs> Who approve of calling the Prime Minister Bro God? Now Jamaica. Last year his statutory declarations were never declared. And this year again, the interim the commission is complaining that the prime minister's statutory declarations are once again not filed. <coughs> Let me repeat it, cause some of not get it enough. The prime minister's statutory declaration meaning say. We don't know what is his assets then for the past two years. Lord Jesus. Let me go for the belt. Let me go for the belt. Make her go for the belt. Make I go for the belt. Chef Noel Cunningham. Me feel for some cocktail. You have no cow tail up. I can't cook a little cow tail, 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 tail and rice and peas for me, please. Because this is a bro, God. This is a bro, can. Bro, scam and bro, can is. So why can't the Prime Minister assets be declared? Why can't the Prime Minister's assets be de declared? Why Jamaica can't the Prime Minister's assets be declared? Don't share up the life now. I could reach 3,000 tonight. I could reach 3,000 tonight, no man. I could reach 3,000 tonight. No, don't share up the life, no man. So you know, teacher love when the class full up of students, no man. Share up the life now because I'm hungry and I want to hurry up and finish this life to eat and go to my bed. Because Chef Noel going to send the cow tail through FedEx. Right now to me from Canada to the United to Jamaica. Yes, you don't want me to tell him the things now. Why the Prime Minister not declaring his assets? Could it be that the Prime Minister owns gas station? Could it be that your Prime Minister has shares in hotels? Could it be that your Prime Minister has shares in the shockman trucks that are on the road? Could it be that your Prime Minister has apartments and complexes that he doesn't know how to hide them? Why two years now the Prime Minister 
Ali soup, you drink Ali soup. Mind you have to go for one beer and, uh, uh, and some salt. Stop drink Ali soup faster, share. Stop drink Ali soup. I don't want none of that soup. I don't want to stop myself tonight. <laughs> I don't want to poo poo myself tonight. Could it be Jamaica that the Prime Minister is hiding assets on the ship? The last time I can't tell him what could it be, why did him assets make it go 3,000 so I can't. Let it go 3,000 people so I can talk about the assets. Natalie, why you want to put Noel in an article? Why you want to put Noel in an article with crab leg? Yes. All right. Could it be Jamaica? Could it be that your prime minister is hiding assets across the country and that's the reason why he has not declared his assets and his statutories? Could it be that the prime minister owns multiple gas stations? Could it be that the prime minister owns apartments or plazas or complexes? Could it be that the Prime Minister has transportation in the form of trucks, the shopman trucks around the place? Could it be that the Prime Minister has excessive lands that he's putting in his name? What is the reason why your statutories are not being declared? It's the second year in a row. And why is it? Why is it that the Integrity Commission cannot sanction you? What is so special about the Prime Minister? You did it last year and you did it again this year. And you are not sanctioned. And Marissa Dalwin Filbert did some illegal things and she got fired. She walked away. So why can't you walk away? Why can't you resign out of nobility and out of dignity? Why is it that your declarations are not being made? Could it be Jamaica that your prime minister has multiple shares in lands and trucks and gas stations? Could it be that your prime minister is up to something and don't know how to hide his assets? You female, long time don't hear from you, you female. You trust that you're well, you're from England. Trust that you're well, you female. Welcome to the program. Welcome, Rosemary. Welcome, Kinsu. Welcome, Verna. Welcome, MD Miller. Welcome to all my students who are over here. Angela does welcome. Welcome. We were on a savage. Welcome to the program. Why can't you declare your assets? What are you hiding? Why your assets cannot be declared? Your wife assets can declare and your assets can declare. Why the two owner assets can clear up? Oh, we know, say the wife a billionaire already because she have 800 million dollar apartment. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I go stay on this topic for a while, you know. I stay on this topic for a while, you know. I decided I'm not coming over here if no found, if I never get 10 students. I don't reach five yet a mid year. Remember, I'm going to do the luncheon for War 21 next week. I'm going to reach the 10 students, them and 2,000 odd students to the stop call me, no man. 2,000 odd students step on the live. I all me ask you to do a call anti it. 10 now, no. As pledge 100 US. Make me get 
If you do the war 21 experience the exclusive way. The exclusive way. Exclusive me I talk about. The exclusive way. So I'm asking me the me just I said tonight, students. Can another three students tonight pledge a hundred dollars to Auntie Claudette? Bless up yourself, Dr. Love. Bless up to my mentor, Dr. Love, where I teach me how business go. Because me did I do business, but me never had to do it right. And Dr. Love is one of them where I teach me how to do the business. Right now, me I buy up my little equipment them for my catering for the Christmas. Me I buy up my little equipment them for the catering for the Christmas. So soon, me not dip on here every night, you know. Because I got busy. I got busy for Christmas. That's why I'm telling you, so I come back January with my YouTube. My mind not dip on social media, you know. I dedicate at least an hour these days, if I'm coming on a live, to write a script. Normally, I take the whole day to write a script. My mind not dip on social media these days. I'm asking you all if you can commit a hundred dollars, one hundred US dollars. If you want anti clouded number, here's our number. Four two six two two eight one. That's the number to call to pledge your support. That's the number to call to pledge your support for the War 21 mental health. Mental health is real in Jamaica. See it here? Mental health is real. I have to take six tablets per night just to be at peace just to make sure that my mood is stabilized six people at war 21 are living on injections people on war 21 are living on several mood stabilizers i'm not living on those and if i never had a depression carried to me i would not be here back i would not be here so I have to appreciate the struggle with mental health and where I have been. And where I could have been and where I did not go. I was naked on the road recently, you know. Did you know that? I was naked on the road recently. And thanks to Auntie Claudette and Josette and Tanya and Sashi. And to the woman who came around and hid me and protected me, I was naked on the road again in September. That's why you couldn't get me on the phone. I threw away my phone. Depression is real. So when I ask people to help me with my mental health project, it's coming from a place of genuineness. Auntie Claudette, Josette, Tanya, a disabled woman, and Sashi, my best friend from Portmore, and Chantel, they all scrape me up off of the road. And those pictures you guys never saw again. And I am telling you now, I was naked on the road the 9th of September 2023. I was naked on the road. 
Did you all know that? And because of them, I was able to get back. And that's why I am hurt. Because my mother knew that I was naked on the road. And my mother never come to rescue me. Dr. Nesbeth had to be my mother then. Dr. Nesbeth had to be my mother then that she had to leave her practice in Linstead and come save me the Sunday night. My mother Susie never come. And they all call my mother. And my mother never come. Oh, you think my mother get the whole heap of bad word them? And when this Monday morning I wake up and I say to everybody around me, has my mother come? And them say, which mother? You mean Mother Claudette? You mean Mother Tanya? You mean Mother Jasset, Mother Chantel, Mother Karen? You mean Mother Sandra Nesbeth? My mother who I look out for and care for never come. So me I ask you. Me a ask you know, Uno see with me. That's why I said to them, provoke your children not to rot. You say, see my mother rot, I stand up beside me, precious and dainty. If you know one know the struggles and the things them when my mother do me, go a water food, go ask down a lagood road. Oh, Susie treat her first son, Andrea, and we hear. Oh, Susie dash me out of the house. Oh, Susie make her boy pitney. Brandon beat me in my face and blood, blood up my face. Oh, Susie make her husband throw me out of the house. No things my mother make her husband and her pitney them do me. I may take it. But thanks to her grandmother, Mama Will. Thanks to her grandmother, near Mama Will. Thanks to her grandmother. Thanks to Auntie Claudette. Thanks to Josset. Thanks to Sashi. Thanks to Tanya. Thanks to Dr. Cassandra Nesbitt. Thanks to Karen Harriet. Hey! So when you see me crying, when you see me crying, I know my mother na reach. The end of October, my mother na reach my house yet, and she heard. That I was naked on the road and I was not well. So you see all of them women there, they're going to be around me to protect me as long as I live. And I'm going to honor them. Just that will be honored. You see Auntie Claudette will be honored. You see Tanya will be honored. You see Sashi will be honored. Dr. Sandra Nesbeth will be honored. And my Auntie Mother, Auntie Karen Harriet will be honored. My prophetess June will be honored. Prophet Lexi Ians will be honored. 
Nerissa Samat will be honored. Dr. Mikey Abrahams and Gail Abrahams will be honored. Apostle Karine Gregory Branford will be honored. And my grandmother, Mama Will, Artens Williams, the centurion that she will become, will be honored. Me I forgive my mother, you know. And me I move on from my mother, you know. Because everything, every time my life I go good, my mother appear and get my money. But you see, when my life I go on bad, me have a little cloud in my life. My mother take care herself in my mother again. She go in at the church, go tell the people I'm in the church, a water food missionary send me a mother again. She go in at the church, go tell the people I'm a water food missionary say, Andrea mother again. She never asks them for pray for me. She never asks them for pray for me. She tell them say, him a go mad again. If you know say your son have a mental health struggle. And Chantel will be honored. And Mr. McLean. I go get Anna. Come my papa that. She go in at the church. Go tell the people them. Say our son. If she never say our son, she say, oh, I get mad again. She don't know how I eat. She don't know how I sleep. She don't know nothing about me, but she just a call. When are you going to send the money for this or when are you going to send the money for that? Me? Me done with them, you know. Done, done, done with them, you know. So that's why me are telling in Jamaica. Had it not been for those women, Auntie Claudette makes sure some medication organized every day. Auntie Claudette called me from 7 o'clock every morning. Just said check in 9 o'clock. Sashi check in 8 o'clock. Tanya check in 4 o'clock. 5 o'clock. Dr. Nesbeck check in. That day, that day, that day, that day. Mother, that, that. Grandma will check every day. Chantel, they are that, 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 that. Oh, no, no, understand. Nerissa, make sure that my finances them send so that me can be maintained. Mental health is real. And me I said to you tonight, I could have not been here and a lot of you could have been saying, oh, no, Miss Andre. Like how no miss Andre, show Andre, so no will stand with him with the mental health project. Me now do no more talking tonight, you know, me I come off now. Because me have other talking to talk about. But me I come off, me I come off at nine o'clock. Me now go no more time, like how no used to get no time. Can't no value me. So it's the people who value me and love me and cherish me. Me go spend some time and check up on Sashi and all of them right after the show done. Cause go where you're celebrated and not tolerated. If you wanna stand with me, say Andre, me stand with you. Me want a bag of rice. Me want some vegetable. I want some Irish potato. If you want help, tell me what you want help me with. I want a bag of rice. I need a buck, want mayonnaise. I need coconut powder. You know why I'm telling you everything? Call Auntie Claudette and I will tell you what you can buy to make this cooking experience great for Upper Ward 21.
Make we make the naysayers and the critiques. Look and there's a backside it really do. We want a bag of rice, long grain rice. Or basmati rice. We want peas, we want a pumpkin. I want some pop choy, I want, so, want one 20 or 30 pound of cabbage. I want one 10 pound of carrot, I need some onion, I need some scallion, I need garlic, I need pimento. I need juices, I need some tropical rhythm. At least four cases of tropical rhythm. So if you can donate one two cases of tropical rhythm. I want one case and I need water for them too. Four cases of water. Four cases of tropical rhythm. So if you want to be of help to me, reach out to Auntie Claudette. I have three minutes more. If you want to call, the number to call me tonight is 995-5301. You can call it also on WhatsApp. 995-5301. The number to call tonight, if you want to talk to me, is 995-5301. May I take one, two calls tonight? Let me take my medication now. Father, God protect me to troubles and child from these vampires. Is there? Oh, no, wow.